My name is Daniela and I am a Youth Services Librarian with Vaughn Public Libraries. Today I'm at the Woodbridge Library branch and I am making a homemade lava lamp. A lava lamp makes bubbles of hot colorful wax float up and down inside a glass bottle. You can make your own simple version with oil, water, and food coloring. I found this activity in the book Messy Experiments by Anna Claiborne. Let's get started. For today's experiment, you will need a tall, clear container, such as a glass jar or bottle, a bottle of vegetable oil, the type used for cooking, warm water, liquid food coloring, baking powder, and a spoon. If you don't have baking powder, you could use a fizzing bath bomb broken into small pieces or a fizzy anti-digestion drink tablet. First, pour some warm water from the hot faucet into your glass container until it's about a quarter full. Then add a few drops of food coloring in your favorite color. I chose red. Carefully pour in vegetable oil until the container is about three quarters full. The liquids will swirl around, so give them a few moments to settle. Now take a spoonful of baking powder and drop it into the container. If it sits on top of the oil at first, push it down with the spoon. Watch the container from the side to see what happens. How does it work? The baking powder contains chemicals that react with the water to make gas bubbles. The water is heavier than the oil, so the oil floats on top of it. But the bubbles are lighter than the oil, so they float to get to the top of the oil. As they slowly force their way up through the oil, they take some of the colored water along with them. I hope you enjoyed today's activity. We'd love to see your homemade lava lamps. Please use the hashtag VPL at home for a chance to be featured on our social media channels. Please also hit the like button and subscribe and stay tuned for more educational activities for kids. Thanks for watching and bye for now.